This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Happy Halloween! Just kidding, it's April Fools. VTubers, short for virtual YouTubers, is a recent online phenomenon in which streamers would use motion capture to translate their movements into animated avatars. They would then act as the characters and engage in various activities, mostly gaming, Are you winning? Yes! but also karaoke, dame, dame. live concert, cooking, we made a braised pork steamed bao, chat, what does that mean? <laughs> it means <laughs> Being British, welcome one, welcome all. Even live stream on adult campsites leaves a lot to the imagination. From the outside looking in, it's easy to dismiss this as some sort of creepy anime waifu bullshit, but that's not really helpful, that's just being judgmental. I want to learn new things, and I assume you do too. So today, let me share my thoughts on the phenomenon. Allow my nerdy ass to take you on a quick dive. Let's explore the hidden appeal and philosophy of VTubers. Here are all the currently active Japanese VTubers in the agency Hololive, shown in debut order. One thing that has always struck me is how much more lavish the later designs are. Early VTubers all have subdued design, standard anime schoolgirl vibe, Three of the five earliest members had brown hair. But as time went on, horns, animal ears, and crazy headwear became more common. Their hair and eye colors also got brighter. Four of the five recent members have headwear, one of them has by far the largest set of horns. Oh, and she also has a bird. The reason for this is very simple. With time, the VTuber market became more competitive. The need for each character to stand out also grew. And since only the top half of the bodies are visible during streaming, a lot of emphasis are put on the horns, hairs, and boobs. <laughs> it's also the reason why many VTubers have wings on their head, even though when you think about it, it makes no goddamn sense. A consequence of this trend is that newer characters are also more fantastical. Some early designs include a shrine maiden, a cheerleader, a robot. Now we have a warden of time with a giant clock on her head, a half angel half demon songstress with a black and white motif, and this. I don't know how to explain that one. Notice that I'm no longer just describing their appearance, rather I'm explaining their look by telling you who they are. I mean, what does a warden of time look like? But that's the best description to explain why she has a clock on her head. She is, in fact, not a helicopter. Indeed, as VTuber designs grew more elaborate, so did their backstories. The newest English and Japanese group from this agency were all given consistent lore with unified themes. Mythical creatures, aspects of the universe, villain organization. And these fantastical character settings is one of the biggest reasons why fans love them. Yo, it's Yang, your favorite VTuber husbando, here to tell you to use NordVPN. Why? Because with NordVPN, you can change your virtual location with a single click, allowing you to bypass geo restrictions, expanding your online access. Now you can watch movies found only on foreign Netflix catalog, it's a must have too for any film enthusiast. You can also protect your online privacy using a variety of features, such as Double VPN, which routes your traffic through two servers. One account supports up to six devices, it's easy to use, convenient, and it protects you from all front. Go to nordvpn.com slash cinema and you can get an exclusive deal with four months for free on a two-year plan. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Travel further and safer on the internet, start using NordVPN today. Meet Himemori Luna the 140cm tall, 0-year-old princess of the Candy Kingdom who has an army of fans called Lu Knights. She owns a f***ing Harley Davidson and has been playing Monster Hunter since at least the second generation games, meaning, in reality, she's probably as old as I am. If that sounds like gibberish to you, that's all standard fare for Japanese VTubers. 
From the earliest days, fictional backstories are a big part of VTuber identity. Kitsuna Ai, arguably the first true VTuber, claims to be an advanced AI. On and off screen, she would act and make decisions according to this setting. It's a rule followed by a lot of YouTubers, often to a hilarious degree. In essence, unlike streamers who do not use avatars, VTubers are actors, trying to sell you a persona. They stream, they interact with fans, and they accept interviews all while staying in character. Like pro wrestling. I don't know how many times I can bring up wrestling on this channel, but damn it, I will do it every time I have the chance. Yes, VTubers are similar to wrestlers, especially on the concept of kayfabe. In case you don't know, professional wrestling is, by and large, a scripted entertainment. It sells a heightened narrative that everyone knows is fake, but nevertheless, is willing to accept as real. That is kayfabe fictional scripted stories presented as reality. The example I often use is The Undertaker. The Undertaker. A wrestling persona on Mark Calloway. The Undertaker is a wrestler said to have supernatural powers. Fans, of course, know that Calloway is only human, but they nevertheless will play along. Whenever they interact with him, Fans of Callaway will act like fans of The Undertaker. A reality is agreed into existence. In other words, fans are acting alongside the wrestlers. And because fan reactions are part of the story, the fans, in turn, can shape the narrative. Which wrestler will win? Who will become the bad guy? The decisions are heavily impacted by fans. It is a form of storytelling that put the fourth wall behind the audience creating a narrative space that includes the fans. In the same vein, the VTuber scene can be understood as one giant community acting experience. Hi, honey. The fans agree to the fictional backstory of each streamer. In return, they can temporarily escape reality. Hey guys! A happy new year! And live in a fantasy guided by the desired host. They get to talk to a pirate without a ship, play video games with a sorcerer putty boy, or whatever this is. In engaging with the kayfabe of each streamer, new stories would then be created collectively. VTubers often get paired up by fans for the chemistry, okay. 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 Ah. there will be competitions to determine who's the dumbest person at playing Connector 4. Eh? or the character would adopt a new identity as a duck because of their vocal characteristics. These are not part of the initial lore, but emerging traits created through interactions with fans. The streamers in turn get to live out the fantasy or experience an alternate life, all with the support of the fans. Some may say that's just how all streamers work, with or without an avatar. A streamer will have to put on a persona to entertain. Your public-facing persona is always different from your private personality. True, many of us know that. Yet at the same time, people still expect a sort of sincerity from YouTubers. Reaction videos, blind playthroughs, we expect genuine reactions. This is where YouTubers have an advantage. Because of the obviously fictional backstories, the kayfabe removes the promise of sincerity. Instead, it invites you to play along. Much the same way how magicians let you know that the show isn't real, counterintuitively, VTubers can feel more honest. This, I think, points to a greater truth in our desire about authenticity. Here is a clip from an anime. Mm, seems like an interview for a sports program. You haven't switched over to becoming a football player. I'm um, thinking about it. <laughs> it sounds like really bad voice acting. Well, it's not just puppy love, that's for sure. Until you close your eyes and listen. I like people who try hard at something, like the hero. He had football ever since he could remember. It sounds like a real interview, doesn't it? I could understand all the troubles and joys he went through. The thing is, Realism and realistic acting are two different things. 
In my opinion, when we say we want something realistic, what we really want is what I call emotional realism. Something that may not convince our eyes or ears, but can motivate our imaginations. The stage look of wrestling isn't a bug, it's a feature. It's a fantasy in which actors enact the idea rather than the act itself. It doesn't have to look real, it just has to feel cool. Cool enough that we want it to be true, at least for a moment. And in the case of VTubers, you are one of the actors who are enacting the ideas, which requires you to engage emotion and imagination. Thus, we feel the fantasy as if it's real to us, emotionally. This explains why some people, a lot of people, choose to watch a 2D sprite being lewd rather than other more explicit forms of adult entertainment. It may not look real, but it sure feels real. Before we go, it's worth addressing the marks of the fandom. A mark is, simply put, a wrestling fan who treats kayfabe as if it's actually reality, whether due to ignorance or, more likely, overcommitment to their roles as a fan. In the VTuber scene and in idol culture in general, this can lead to toxic parasocial relationships, which can lead to, and had led to, unfortunate events. So don't be a mark. Still, maybe I'm just optimistic, or maybe I'm a transhumanist, but knowing that there is a widely available technology that allows people to create their own persona, letting them safely express themselves in ways they prefer, it makes me happy, and I love all of it. Plus, it's just funny. <laughs>